Much like today's COVID-19 reality, a call to prayer outside the Freeman Coliseum is also unprecedented. The first of two Pray SA events will be this Sunday evening at 7 p.m. Jesse de Goyado has a preview of what organizers hope will lead to answered prayers in a troubled world. And then we'll actually live test microphones. And Along with the preparations. We declare that the mindset that places one race over another is wrong. It's wrong. There were prayers outside Freeman Coliseum, all part of getting ready for Pray SA. We're not trying to make any type of political statement. It's just a good old fashioned prayer service. Christian author and pastor Max Lucado says there won't be anyone preaching on this stage to a parking lot organizers hope will be filled with people spaced apart in their vehicles, listening on 93.9 FM to what's being said. Not to lead, but to usher and to escort um, those who have that same heart's desire as we do. They're weary with the pandemic. They're, they're wounded from racism and relationship issues, and, and they're worried because there's no end in sight. It was during the protests over George Floyd's infamous death in Minneapolis police custody that both pastors met, then joined others, eventually leading to the Freeman Coliseum being chosen as a neutral site instead of a church, yet still within the Eastside community that's well aware of the disparities and divisiveness imposed by others. Here, organizers say they can find forgiveness through prayer. So I hope that they walk away feeling empowered to really start to deal with some of that subconscious bias and racist that's there. This is an invitation to all people to come and cry out to God and ask him for help. Jesse de Goyado, KSAT 12 News. Now there are two Pray SA events this Sunday, August 9th and Sunday, August 16th, both at 7 p.m. outside the Freeman Coliseum. For more information and to register, go to PraySA.org.